guys what's up welcome back to another video today I am going to be updating you guys on my pregnancy how everything is going and everything like that um, I know I haven't been doing so many updates I haven't really been doing videos in general um, and I just kind of want to update you guys on what's been going on and everything like that um, so first things first is my bump update let me show you guys so this is what it looks like oh Right now, I am 24, 29 weeks, 4 days, so I'm almost at the 30 week mark, and um, yeah, so let's get started with this video. Before I do get started, um, I do want to ask you guys to please give me a like and subscribe to my channel, and yeah, I think with that we can go ahead and get started. Okay, you guys, so, oh my god, I'm so out of breath all the time. It's kind of frustrating because I don't like being like this. Please excuse my nails. Um... I am going to be getting, well, I, I don't know if you guys knew this, but I am doing nails now. So, I do my own nails, but um, I wanted to wait a little bit closer to my baby shower. And I'm going to be doing them probably today or tomorrow. But, yeah, please excuse the way they look right now. They look so ghetto. But, yeah, let's get into this video. Okay, guys, so, a lot of you guys have been asking, like, how do I feel? You know, and a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of you guys know how I feel just because I do update you guys a little bit here and there on Instagram or on Snapchat. I do ask for, like, if you guys have any tips, like, how I can feel better and things like that. Um, So, a lot of things have actually changed since the last update. I feel like I have been getting heavier and with that, you know, obviously my body is going to go through some changes and I'm going to be experiencing different things. So... Um, lately I have been feeling a lot of back pain. This actually just started like this week. I would say this past week it started and it's to the point where I don't know if it's me being pregnant or what, but when I step, it hurts. Like it, I'll feel pain right here on my left side and it just hurts really bad. But once I start like, okay, let's say I'm sitting down for like an hour, um, the first two minutes of me standing up hurts and then it'll just go away so I don't know if it's like because my blood is not circulating like how it should be just because I have read that that's the reason why you get leg cramps things like that you know I don't know if that has to do with it or I don't know what's going on but yeah that's something that I have been experiencing but another thing I have been experiencing is pressure so this actually happened and I got so scared uh, I never experienced this. This was so new to me. I would hear people talk about them feeling like it hurting when they walked and them feeling pressure. Like I remember, you know, a lot of pregnant girls would tell me like, it doesn't hurt. And with Nathan, nothing hurt. Like I would just be completely fine. And I would be able to walk everywhere. Like it would just, I would feel perfect. And this time around, you know, it, it did scare me because I was like, is this normal? Um, and I did start feeling like pelvic pain and pressure and till this day I still feel it especially when I'm like laying down and I'm like turning over in the bed or when I stand up like when I'm in bed and I stand up for the first time it hurts really bad when I walk for a long time it just feels uncomfortable it's not like something very painful where I'm like crawling like on the floor you know it hurts no it's just something that feels really uncomfortable and um, yeah that's you know, something that I've been dealing with. I asked the doctor and she told me that's completely normal. She even said, she's like, and just to, you know, let you know that it can get worse and it probably will because the baby will only get heavier. So, you know, I I kind of, I guess I'm, I'm, I have to expect it now, but it's crazy. I never knew that people felt this when pregnant. Um... Since I have been feeling that pressure, I do feel more uncomfortable when I'm sleeping, obviously, because anytime that I, like, turn, because I sleep on either my left side or my right side, and every time I have to turn, um, it hurts me. So, you know, I don't turn that much, but with the times that I do, I feel it, and it's just, it's just not comfortable it's compared to how I used to sleep, where I was, like, completely fine. You know, it hurts now. Um, I am looking into getting a, um, I don't know how, what you guys would call it, like a belly support or like a faja. I want to get one because I feel like that would probably help since I am getting back pain and I'm getting pressure. 
maybe that'll help with both so i'm looking to get one that's not too pricey um let me know if you guys know of any because i really really want to get one um it's just i still have 10 weeks to go and trust me i really i want to feel the most comfortable as i can so um another thing is that i have been feeling a little bit swollen like i feel my face swollen um i don't eat a lot of salt you guys i don't eat a lot of salt trust me i've never i don't really crave salt with nathan i feel like i would crave things like that more like i would crave chile and i would crave like hot cheetos this time around i do i don't crave that i did crave a michelada the other day and i just drank it with like obviously i'm not gonna drink beer so i drink it with the duels and obviously that has salt but i don't crave things like that like it's really really rare and more of my cravings have been sweet so um no a lot of people do ask me though like hey do you eat a lot of salt and i'm like no i don't eat a lot of salt but it's just probably just my pregnancy you know i just probably just feel chubbier and i'm actually starting to feel it now um because obviously you know i have gained 28 pounds already so I haven't gained any because I know I, I think I told you guys that I gained 28 pounds but I haven't gained any like um, I went to the doctor and I, I've been staying the same so I haven't been gaining I just been staying at the same weight so hopefully I don't gain too much because I know the last weeks you are supposed to be gaining I believe a pound a week so dang I don't know <laughs> I don't know about me gaining up to 50 pounds like I already feel heavy as it is I can't imagine you know but obviously, I'm not going to be, like, starving myself. I know that my baby, you know, especially the last weeks, they need the all the calcium, all the nutrients they can get because that's when they're, like, gaining all the fat. Um, so, you know, I, I don't restrict myself, but I'm not, I'm not like, because I feel like in the beginning I gained a lot of weight because I would be so hungry, you guys. Like, I would feel hunger where I would eat and I would be, like, not satisfied. Like, I, I would be not satisfied, like... And obviously it's like, okay, your baby, your body is making a baby. Like, of course, you're going to be extra hungry. And it's just so many, like, hormonal changes that I would literally feel like I was never satisfied. Like, I would always want to be eating. So, I feel like that had a lot to do with my um, weight gain. And, um, yeah, I would, I would eat. I wouldn't eat unhealthy, but I would eat a lot. You know, a lot of healthy stuff. Like, I would eat a lot of fruits a lot of bananas and obviously that does have sugar anyway so it's not just because you're eating something healthy doesn't mean that it's good to eat a lot of it you know so yeah i just feel like i kind of went crazy in the beginning because i was so hungry all the time but now i kind of just feel like i'm just like normal i can eat my um breakfast my snack and then my dinner i only eat three times a day um i eat like breakfast and then i'll eat like a snack and then I'll eat dinner in the night, and like not in the night, like at five, and then that's it. I won't eat again. So that's like usually like how I I always have ate, um, and I'm back to eating like that. I'm, I'm back to my schedule. Like I don't feel like I have to eat extra, and yeah. So um, another thing, you guys, that I have been suffering with is leg cramps. Like my leg cramps have been. so so horrible i literally have been getting leg cramps almost every single day and honestly like i tried everything i tried stretching i tried eating bananas i tried everything and it's so painful to get a leg cramp you know you know what i'm talking about you know those leg cramps that you get like when you're like they, it just gets hard you can see the muscle like getting like a bola that's how i've been getting them and it's just i scream you guys it's so horrible and the only thing I will tell you guys that honestly that has I've been seeing a difference in is showering in the night. That's the only thing that I have been seeing that every time I shower in the night and I just kind of put my legs um, in hot water. I just kind of let the water run and I like for like five minutes and that literally has been helping like me showering in the night. I don't wake up with cramps. So that's what I've been trying to do every single day now. Um just showering in the night that way you know i won't <laughs> i won't get it in the morning and it has been helping so if you guys have been getting like cramps i still eat the bananas just in case i still eat like a ban if you don't want to eat a banana you can always eat like a banana shake what i do is i just put a banana and i i mix it with milk and ice and then i put a little bit of cinnamon and that's it and it's really good um 
I actually make it for Nathan and I because he likes it too. And it's like, it's really good anyways, you know. So I use, I eat it because of my leg cramps. But he likes it just to drink it. Um, but yeah, if you guys have been suffering with leg cramps, definitely shower in the night. Drink your shake, a banana, banana milkshake, and you'll be good. Acne. My acne actually has been going away. Like, it's been controllable now. I did get a pimple right here, but I know it's because of my baby shower. Like, I've just been stressing out. I've been doing so many new things um, when it comes to Classy Lady and my YouTube channel. And, you know, it's, now that I have, my like, the nail stuff, you know, I am trying to, like, balance everything. And I haven't got, like, in a routine. And I probably will not get into a routine right now just because I am pregnant and things are still going to be changing. But it's it just kind of, I just got get overwhelmed sometimes and got a pimple. So, yeah. Um... My energy has been a little bit okay. Like, it hasn't been as bad as, like, the first and second trimester. I feel like it, hind it kind of, um, it's kind of, like, reasonable now. Like, it's more like, oh, I don't have energy because I woke up really early today and I did this. You know, or I don't have energy because I walked a lot. We went to walk a lot and then I just got tired. It's, like, kind of, like, it makes sense. Before, like, my first trimester, I would just be tired. Like, I would just be tired for nothing. Like, I would be literally just wanting to sleep all day. Now it's kind of like, okay, I have a reason to be tired. Like, even though I get tired early, I mean, easier, you know, it's kind of like, obviously, you know, I am carrying a baby, so I am going to be tired um, faster. So, I'm happy that I'm getting my energy back because having no energy sucks, you guys. It just sucks because you have to make it. I remember drinking, like, I would only be able to drink two cups of coffee. And I would literally be drinking it and I'll be like falling asleep. Like it just did not help at all. But um, yeah, so I mean that's all of the things that have been happening with my body, you guys. Um, my belly's growing. Everything seems fine. My baby has always measured a week ahead. So she is measuring a week ahead. And I don't know. I feel like I'm not going to make it to my 40 weeks. With Nathan, I gave birth to him at... 39 weeks, 6 days, so he was about to be 40 weeks. So it was like exactly almost, they told me my due date was going to be November 1st and he was born October 31st, so one day. But with this baby, I maybe because I just feel heavier, I don't know, I have a feeling she's going to be here a little bit earlier, maybe like a week earlier, two weeks earlier. Um, but, you know, as long as she's healthy, you know, I'm willing to wait, I'm not really getting too impatient because I really do you know I want her to be healthy I want her to come out when she's ready to come out you know whenever she feels ready she can come out so you know sometimes I do feel like oh, I want her to be born already, already but you know I mean in reality I don't want her to be born yet I want her to still grow and be healthy and get all the calcium and you know anything that she needs to be a strong baby a strong and healthy baby so um, right now we're planning um, our my baby shower is actually this weekend, which I'm so excited about. Um, we're gonna be going to California. If you guys, I'm gonna be doing nails on Thursday and Friday. If you guys need nails, um, just hit me up on the on Instagram and I'll book you an appointment. I'll be in Pomona, and yeah, so I'm excited for the baby shower. Um, I'm glad that we're doing it a little bit earlier, just because, like I said, we have a lot of things going on. Not just like a brand new baby. We also have to like move. And it's just a lot of things that we have to do in a little bit of time. Um, I'm excited because we got her the stroller already. Um, I wish I could show you guys. It's so, so cute. I'll probably do like an unboxing or something. But we ordered it last like two weeks ago. And then we also, I've, if, you, if you guys saw our video... We, ordered, we bought the four moms swing so we have that and yeah we're just getting ready for the baby I just kind of feel like I go through her clothes I go through her bows a lot and I just kind of reorganize and then I just I'm, I feel like I'm running out of time and there's so much things to do but I'm just trying to stay patient like I, like I said and you know whenever she wants to come she's a, welcome and yeah, I mean, we're excited. We're, everyone's excited. Even Nathan, huh, Bobby? You're excited for sister? Mm -hmm. 
he's excited um, if you guys didn't know my my due date is may 22nd so yeah we have approximately two months to go we are in march march 16th already you guys time flies so march april and then may that's it we are like already halfway through march so yeah we have like two months to go and we're ready i'm ready to push her out and yeah i'm excited you guys um let me know if you guys like these type of videos and let me know how your pregnancy is going if you guys are having similar symptoms um and yeah you guys i think that's gonna be it for today's update i'll update you guys on my next week few weeks left of pregnancy and i will also be updating you guys on well i'll have a vlog up um soon for everything that i'm doing to prepare for the baby shower and i'm also gonna have a vlog of the baby shower soon so make sure to turn on your post notifications and yeah i think that's gonna be it for today you guys thank you all so much for watching and i'll talk to you guys next time